Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and this time I'm going to show you how to build the KTXI or the KTX1. And this is a South Korean high speed train, and it's actually based on the TGV Rasu, which I already have a tutorial on uh, two of them the Rasu and the Rasu Duplex. And you can see this one right here, and another one over there. And this is from uh, the movie Train to Busan, so I actually did another locomotive from that movie. But now I'm finally finished with the KTXI, so uh, let's get started on this. Actually, wait a minute. Before we do, let's go over the train car set. So uh, there's basically a power car at the end, and there's a motorized trailer, which is the one right around here. And then there's like 16 of these intermediate trailers. And this makes the train pretty long, as you can see. And then there's like a part that... Uh, that sort of greenish blue stripe it turns uh, red over here so there's gonna be four of those and it's gonna go back to these uh, power car and motorized trailer so yeah that's like the whole train set if you want to make it it's kinda insane it's so long uh, but let's get started on this build alright so first off we're gonna take uh, polished andesite just add that Mill the tracks like this, and you want to make a T shape with it like that. And then we're going to take a stone brick slab, just add one at the top and the sides of the T like that. Alright, so once we're done with that, we can add actually more, more polish and like maybe like two more, so a two by three behind it. And then we're going to take a uh, stone brick stairs just add two to the sides and one to the back to make it curve like so same thing on the other side and we're gonna take a um, block of course just add that right there and we're gonna make that 32 block song so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30, 31, 32. Alright. And let's do the other side. So just line that up with that stone brick stairs or slab going all the way back. Alright, so once we're done with that, we can take um, some more stone brick stairs, just add two at the end like that, upside down underneath this place. And then let's uh, let's add the floor. So we're gonna add stone. Should place that right here in the middle. Three. And this is just so that we can have an actual floor, so that we can place the wheels for the bogey and stuff. Just fill in the rest in. Uh, you could see someone in the background. Which I think was Meeper. I'm not sure. Alright, so once we're done with that, we can take uh, hoppers and add the wheels. So we could add one like that, and then we could add three stone brick stairs, or I mean stone brick slabs after it, and then another hopper. Then go to the other side and do the same thing. So hopper, three slabs, then another hopper, and that's basically going to be our bogey throughout the train and then we're gonna add the sides uh, we're just gonna add this um, stone brick stairs on the sides of this do the other side and yeah I didn't put anything in the middle of that so it's kinda hollow Alright, so that's the bottom portion, and let's work on the nose part. So let's go to the nose, and we're going to add uh, quartz stairs, three blocks wide in the front. So it's going to be a little bit different from our regular TGV Rasu. And we're going to add quartz behind it. Then we're going to add these lights, which are stone bricks uh, slabs like that. And in between that is stone slab, because there's like a little vent here. And then... We're going to take lapis lazuli, just add one block over there behind it, and 
quartz on the side of that. Then quartz, three quartz like that. Actually, four quartz on the side, and we're gonna add the little um, logo for KTX, which is Korea Train Express, and that's gonna be lapis lazuli. And there's a lot of people coming here. All right, so then we're gonna add stone bricks uh, slabs in the middle, three behind this lapis. Then behind that one, we're gonna add three lapis like that and one lapis on the sides like so. Then let's take our uh, quartz slab, just add that to smoothen things out. So just add the slope basically to the sides. And uh, once we're done with that, we can add uh, quartz surrounding this uh, KTX logo. And then we're gonna make a door frame. So it's like an upside down L shape like that. Then let's add lapis in front of the door frame like that. And for the cab, we're gonna take a uh, black stained glass pane, just add one like this, and in front of that, a solid block of glass. Then we're gonna add three in the middle, at the front like this. And then we're gonna add the roof, which is a stone brick slab, three blocks wide. Behind that, uh, we wanna take a stone slab, like that, for a little light on top and stone slabs on top of this glass pane then behind that we're going to add stone brick sta stairs <laughs> oh it's a lot of work all right then we're going to take our scion uh, terracotta just add that on the roof of it just fill this in basically add these two right above these quartz and then we're gonna have like this giant vent over here I'm not quite sure how long it is so we're gonna estimate it bedrock so maybe like 10 blocks long so get our bedrock one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right I was one block off so just add 11 blocks so that should be good Alright, so once we added our top vent, we can fill in the top of that with gray carpet. Like so. And also, actually, never mind. We'll just do it like that. So we're making it sort of like the same color. We don't have this exposed vent. And let's go to the back of this. Uh, we're going to add three blocks of quartz on top of the corner. And then we're going to connect this uh, to the front basically with this quartz uh, row. Like a little beam. And then there's going to be a little vent here. And this KTX, uh, it actually does have uh, dimensions for the length of each of the cars, so I'm really grateful for that. That's way more accurate <laughs> for the other TGV I just estimated. Alright, so then we're going to add an iron door right here in the door frame and then we're gonna fill in the middle of this of the bedrocks with the scion terracotta going all the way back to the back then the, there's actually gonna be a pantograph on the power car so we're gonna have to add that so <laughs> It's like seven blocks, so seven blocks of a uh, stone slab inside of it, basically. Just fill this in, and this is just so that we can have a floor to put the patch graph on. And we're gonna add three scion on the back corners, and then a stone brick slab. Then fill the rest of the walls in. With scion terracotta I believe and then there's actually gonna be a one folded down so how are we gonna do this let's take a uh, stone brick stairs just add one right here in between these uh, sandwich between the stone slab and then uh, we're gonna make it go diagonal with the stone brick slab like this 
it's gonna sort of do a boomerang going back and this slab should be the top one and let's take a stone brick sta <laughs> stairs just add that on the sides of it all right then we're gonna have our um, bottom one like that looks like this and we're just gonna take uh, stone brick stairs just add that upside down like that double stone brick slab and then two stone brick slabs like that and then uh, scion just add that around the tip of the pantograph and cover the rest of the roof in like so all right <clears throat> so the last thing for the power car is just the side vent um, that's going to be made of andesite basically just fill that in it's pretty simple top layer. I have a feeling this video is going to be pretty long. And then the other side. Alright, so once we're done with that, we can add uh, the gangway. So that's going to be made of uh, gray wool. So I'm just going to grab it uh, you want to go down here, align it with this stone floor. Should make a door frame basically. Going all the way up here, aligned with the stone slab that's already there. And now we're going to have to add coupling. And yeah, okay, just add stone brick slab right there. And now that should be it for the power car the first car now you have to make the second car so um, <clears throat> the intermediate not the intermediate the motorized trailer so we're gonna take stone for the floor just add that right here three blocks wide and 33 blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three then just fill that in Then we're gonna add. Um, what are we gonna add? <laughs> we're gonna add this uh, block of quartz around it. So we're gonna make sort of like this frame around these giant vents and the holes. They're gonna be like one is a two by three, and the second one is another two by three, the third one is a two by two. So we want to have it looking like this. And uh, we can actually do the other side. Not sure if it, yeah, it aligns with the floor. So that's one two by three. Our second two by three, and then a two by two. And uh, we can fill that in with the uh, andesite. It's the same block as the vents in the front. Oh yeah, I missed the 2x2. Two two. Let me get that right now. And yeah, just fill it in. Alright, then we're going to take this special color, the Scion Concrete. Add it going all the way to the top like that. And the other side, so it's like a special stripe to signify the door. So the door is like right here. And then we're going to fill in this little bit with the block of quartz. And let's go to uh, the back. Let's make the gangway for over here. It's going to be like four blocks tall, I think. And the back section. So we're going to add block quartz. Actually, two blocks tall. 
on the sides and we're gonna go all the way to that stripe so just continue it I wonder if I'm doing this right I hope I am oh wait I'm not Alright, then we're going to take a block of course, just add one right here and another one on top of it. And going all the way back to the front, just continue it. And for most of the trailer cars, there's not going to be any uh, iron doors, so if you want to make it actually so that you can go in, you can add that for sure. So I'm just building this in. And the other side. Man, I missed a lot of blocks right there. Got to fill that in. All right, so then you can add another stripe on the top of it. So right here, just do the same thing. And this side and the roof. It should be stone slab. So let's take a stone slab and just start from right around right after this uh the stripe right there we're going to fill in the roof with the stone slab going all the way to the back and around just continuing i'm going to try to do it as fast as i can but if someone actually built like this whole entire trade set i'll be really impressed because this is this is so long it's like 20 cars all right so after we do that um let's add this mechanism so we're going to take our scion terracotta just add like uh, three to the sides and we're basically just going to fill in the rest in except this part this part we're going to leave alone we're going to take a uh, stone brick slab just add that right there in the hole and I think it has something to do with the padded graph, like it folds down easier. And then we're going to add these vents on the side. They're going to be made of bedrock. And there's four blocks uh, long. So just add that on both sides. And then fill in the middle with the Scion Terracotta. And we're going to make like this triangle shape with it. So three and then one like that. Then behind it all, we're gonna add stone brick sta uh, sla stairs. Ah, stairs. And then after that, um, stone brick slabs. And then we're gonna have like this part extend a little bit, so we're gonna stretch it out like that. All right. So after we do that, we're gonna take gray carpet. Just <laughs> add that on top of that bedrock. So you have a nice color and oh well, yeah, this guy gonna be like this little connector thing. It's actually a last minute thing I added. Stonework uh, slab right there. And we're gonna add a stripe on top, which is a blue stripe and we're gonna use blue carpet for it. And these 1.12 colors are pretty vi vibrant actually. this side oh man all right so that's basically the roof and uh, let's work on the bottom portion so we're gonna go over here take a uh, stone brick slab just add one to the each side of this basically and two stone bricks uh, stairs in the corners same thing on the other end wait a minute no no it's not <laughs> probably not it's actually they uh, 
they have like this coupling that connects these two. I forgot about that. So I'm gonna take a stone brick slab and just add a T shape like that. And then we're gonna have to connect it at the TGV. Select this as well. And we're gonna have a hopper right there, top of the tracks, like so. And I'm not gonna make the next car until we finish this one. So let's go back to this. Uh, we're gonna take hopper, add this bogey as well. So two hoppers on each, <laughs> two hoppers, and then skip three two hoppers right there. In the middle of that, we can add uh, stone brick slabs. And I did add one stone slab under here just to connect the bogey more you know just for that extra bit of detail and then let's add the window so we're gonna take um, black stained glass and lapis lazuli just add one black stained glass right there then two lapis then we're gonna go to the end and add three lapis same thing on the other side. So then one glass, two, and then there's going to be like these two block wide windows going throughout the trailer. So it should be like that. We're just adding the beams first. Then we're going to add the actual glass like that. And the other side. Alright, so once we're done with that, we can add these vents on the side. So we're going to take uh, another brick stairs, just line it up with the second window that's uh, two blocks wide. So right here. And we're going to add three. One, two, three. Line it up the same way on the other end. And there's also more vents on this side, so it's a bit asymmetrical. It's going to be uh, two bedrocks. And we're going to skip one after it and uh, two more nether bricks uh, stairs. And the rest of it, it should be stone bricks uh, stairs. So after this uh, hopper, we could just fill in the middle part. Going all the way back. Like so. And then we have to do the other end. Alright, so once we're done with that, we can take, um, we can actually do the next car, the intermediate car now. I think that's about it. So, let's start on it. So first off, let's make the floor, which is stone, three blocks wide. And this time, we're going to make it 28 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Go all the way, filling in the center of it. And there's Meeper with his polka dot boxers, just staring at me with his Enderman eyes. All right, so once we do that, we can add a hopper right here to finish off this bogey. Go to the other end, and we're gonna add. Hopper right here for the other wheel and make the same stone brick T shape to connect to the next trailer car. So, like that, and you would basically continue that throughout the train until you reach like the motorized trailer, then that's kind of half. Alright, so then we're gonna take a block of quartz, just add that two blocks tall right here line it up with the stone and just go along and yeah, my butt hurts from sitting here so long to the other side and I'm like on the edge of my seat <laughs> alright so after we do that yeah do the other side this part's easy 
like my seat needs more like padding than on top part. And then we're gonna skip a row and add another. Oh my god, my butt hurts so much. Another quartz on the very top of this. There's me, Bristol here. Still watching me. Bit creepy though. From the other side. I wonder if he's been here the whole time. Alright, then we're gonna add a uh, blue stripe on top, the blue carpet. I really like this uh, white and blue color scheme. You know, I might actually make an animation uh, for Train to Busan since it's like it's such a popular movie. I really liked it too. And I can finally use my trains for a real movie. <laughs> Alright, so after we do that, we can take stone slab, just add that for the roof. Just filling in with stone slabs. I actually did watch Unstoppable yesterday just because like so many people were talking about it and <laughs> yeah it was a good movie but and I actually might make the locomotive tutorial for that alright so once we're done with that roof part we can add this little connector on top stone brick slab right there at the ends so that it connects something like electricity I'm not sure and then we're going to add two lapis right here. And then go to the other end, add three lapis. So if you actually want to make it more accurate, there's a little variation. They add like another window here for some reason on some of the cars. But I'm just going to make it simple, make it like this. Because it's very complex as it is. So. We're going to add cyan harding, I mean not cyan harding, clay, uh, concrete. Just add this uh, stripe, four blocks tall. And now you have to place that blue carpet again. On top of it. And uh, let's add the bottom portion. So we're going to take stone brick uh, stairs. Just add that right there going along the sides until we reach the bogey and I keep on messing up I need to like stand back or something then the other side maybe I should just stand closer all right then we're gonna add uh, the columns for the windows so this is going to be basically the same thing as we did in this car we're just going to add like this one window here um, but for some reason I did not add two blocks of lapis but oh well we're just going to fill this in anyways so we're going <laughs> to alright so all right, so it's gonna be, be all right. So it's gonna be similar to the first one. We're just gonna add uh, lapis right here so that we have a one block window for the doorway, and then go to the other end. And actually, I already did that. So we're gonna take lapis lazuli, making these two block wide windows. I'm trying to do both sides at the same time, but it's kind of slow. You have to reach so far away. And then let's fill in the window. So we're gonna take uh, black stained glass, just fill in the holes on the sides, and then after that, we're gonna add some more vents. It's a lot of detail on this train. Alright, so after we do that, we can add the vents. So we're going to take bedrock and line it up after the second two block wide window. So right here, 
Just add uh, bedrocks like that, the bottom of the quartz, and same thing on the other end. Then we're going to take uh, three, three nether brick stairs, just add that diagonally to the bedrock. And we're going to skip this block here, just add uh, two nether brick stairs like that. And yeah, that's all three cars. There's actually one more, but all that really is, is uh, I added a red stripe instead of the kind of blue one. So if you go down here, it's I believe it's red concrete. Let me just check. Yeah, red concrete. And that's basically like four cars. I don't know why they changed the coloring on this, and they actually do this on the TGV as well. But yeah, that's how it is. It's so long train. Alright guys, so that's basically it for my tutorial for the Korea Train Express, the KTXI. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you do, please hit that like button below, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video, and I still haven't reached the front of this. It's going to take a little bit. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.